this is the south software company and i am your instructor mohammed ilyas and today video we are going to uh, create, uh, we are going to a uh, demo of this application accounting management systems so let's get start now once you have complete your projects or you purchase the code from ilyas of software company so then you can run the application from here start so let's get start and run the applications so once you run your application then click on the login button here is the admin and a password is required so now i'm clicking on the login button and now here you received the low stock report directly and also the expiry if the if expiry products available in the stock then it's automatically uh, opens the expiry uh, product reports after the login so now here we are going to first the stock so here the stock category tab received here you can uh, perform the crude operations means edit or delete and so on this is the category of the stock this is the products in a stock here you can register the new uh, products also the product name quantity seller price per channel pri price and also you can select here the uh, the product category and if you want to add the new category you now press the this button and uh, enter the new category here and so click the show button so the category will be show in here automatically and also you can click on the refresh button if you are select here the other and click on the refresh button so it's refresh okay okay what is the threshold quantity so threshold quantity is used for uh, generating is used for generating the low stock reports if the current quantity is low from the threshold quantity it is will going to the the low stock report and these then in here is show all the products detail and this is the catalog of your stock and now the third one is stock detail so this is the stock detail here you can search uh, by category name and by a product name brofen brofen okay so here you can use for search the category and products okay and this is the overview of your stock means all the the, the stock is here you show the your current quantity sell price purchase owner price manufacturers expiry and threshold is deleted means the product is deleted or not then which users and is its descriptions and also here you can get the low stock means how many product is low in a stock so show here and also if you want to search the products and a low stock pro product list so use this options means tab c of okay so this is the search option for search the products and the low stock uh, list is the refresh and this is the if i click here this and click the refresh so the products will be the list will be reset and now if you and here you can get your low stock report so this is the stock now the purchase so purchase is uh, here you can add your new suppliers mean jsk sarla and so on these are the company who, uh, who provide the uh, products to your shop and now this is the purchase invoice here you can purchase the new products here you can add, add your purchase your purchases products once you add here the products it will show here i am give the demo so now select the here this select and then go to and select the supplier then select the, the which one products you want to purchase is the brofen and select from here is the cost of goods sold means if you want to purchase some products so then you can select the cost of goods sold this one option see here cost of goods sold and here the quantity and this is the purchase this is the sale price and this is the thresholds and also you can uh, select the mm, uh, expiry date manufacturer date and expiry date okay and now click the add buttons so if you want to add another products so then add another products and also change and add so okay so now this is the another product here is the total payment this is the already paid and this is the remaining payments okay and now uh, here if you want to pay the payment with the this uh, invoice so now 
क्लिक हेयर आल्सो विद इन वॉइस द मतलब ऑटोमेटिकली पेड ऑल द द पेमेंट्स ऑफ दिस इन वॉइस सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेव नाउ क्लिक ऑन द फाइनलाइज अदरवाइज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट द न्यू एंड यू वॉन्ट टू कैंसिल दिस परचेज इन वॉइस एंड वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट द न्यू वन सो नाउ क्लिक हेयर यू कैन स्टार्ट द न्यू परचेज सो ना आई एम क्लोजिंग टू दिस इज द परचेज इन वॉइस एंड नाउ दिस इज द परचेज पेमेंट ओके सो नाउ इफ यू हैव एनी परचेज ऑफ सारले सो दिस आर द इन वॉइस इज विच इज रिमेनिंग पेमेंट दिस 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 एफ सो दिस आर दर्चेज पेमेंट विच इज मतलब रिमेनिंग पेमेंट्स परचेज इन वॉइस इज सो अनपेड परचेज इन वॉइस सो नो राइट क्लिक हेयर एंड एंटर द पेमेंट हेयर मीन्स फोर सिक्सटी सो नो फोर सिक्सटी and now get the payment so payment is successful and this is the invoice of this payment succeeded so once the payment is succeeded here it's close okay if you want to purchase pad this so now here add the thousands and get paid okay if you want to pad means not in the hundreds so now press the hundred the remaining is 125 so now you can get also here this is 125 the remaining balance and also here okay this is the remaining payments and this is the user who perform these operations and now close this one and then go to the all purchases so i'm going to retrieve some purchases so these are the purchases okay these are the purchases so now this is the purchase detail here you can get the purchase detail here is the purchase payment detail and uh, okay i'm going to check this okay here is the 125 is pay, uh, total is to uh, 25 and here is paid is uh, uh, 100 and the remaining balance is 125 and now you can also print receipt from here also so now i'm going to close this and then go to the print invoice once you click on the print invoice you will get here the invoice of this purchase so this is the all purchases you can get purchases from that and to that and also if you want to search the sarle invoices so now select this and find so this only is the sarle if you want to select the gsk so this is only a gsk okay so this is the purchase i'm go, if, so i'm going to sell so now select the sell and here you can add your customers here you add the counter customer or whatever and here the sell invoice same to same like a, a new purchase so now if you want to some uh, product sell on your customer so now select first the customer here if you have no customer means a counter customer so now right here and add the counter customer counter customer and now save is like something enter some number is required some areas like self shop मतलब इसका एरिया जो है ये मत मीन्स एक काउंटर कस्टमर है इसका एड्रेस भी जो है सेल्फ शॉप एंड इन नाउ सेव सो दिस कस्टमर विल बी सेव सक्सेसफुली ओके ओके सो नाउ द काउंटर कस्टमर इज एडेड सो नाउ गो टू हेयर एंड सेलेक्ट द काउंटर कस्टमर सो दिस इज योर काउंटर कस्टमर मीन्स नॉर्मल कस्टमर विच इज गोइंग टू रन योर शॉप्स ओके सो नाउ सेलेक्ट द टैब सेलेक्ट द ब्रोफिन एंड सेलेक्ट द अकाउंट विच इज फॉर सेल मीन्स दिस इज द सेल रिटर्न ओके बट वी विल सेलेक्ट द सेल सो फर्स्ट चेक द सेल sell products now select the account is sell products okay and now enter the quantity means i want to sell uh, to and now click on the add button so this is added to sell if i am going to purchase the this one so is the current qu available quantity is uh, 51 in your stock and the sell order price is 70 so now here purchase to 
two or four whatever you want to sell on your customer enter the quantity okay so these are finalized in its uh, total amount is 240 and 240 if you uh, select the counter customer then you must be select the pay invoice okay and okay so the sale is success uh, means sale is success okay so now i'm pressing the ok button so the sale is a success I'll go to the sale payments so now select here and select the counter customer so this is the sales and the remaining payment is this so now right here and enter the payment of this customer and go to the pad so the pad is successful see here okay if you want to check the this one so i have no payment this one okay here is the remaining so now enter here and paid the 5000 and paid okay so the payment is paid it and the remaining is 920 and i'm going to close this so if i'm getting all the sales here so all the sales going going to um, those are taro and click on that so now this is the today sales okay so if you these are the sales like uh, purchase so here you can check the sale details okay these are the purchase so here you can check the sale details okay these are the products and the sales and this is the total amount remaining amount and is the user and also here the sale payment detail this is the sale payment detail okay if right click here sorry this is the invoice of this and uh, this is the sale payment detail okay so this is the sale menu stock is clear already now go to the setting of this user okay so here you can add use user type normal user user operator admin and so on here you can add a uh, uh, add new user means select uh, your user type admin normal user whatever also add from here your user type and enter your full name contact number email and enter username password and confirm the password and press on the registered button and it says account here you can add the account uh, uh, header uh, headers families assets liabilities expenses capitals and revenues and now the another is account controls these are the sub controls of liabilities headers uh, means account families uh, sub uh, sub accounts controls means asset cash on hand assets account receivable liabilities account payables expenses salary so here you can register your account controls under the account head and also you can add uh, the control inside a uh, account control means if you want to add a uh, assets and then account receivable and then inside account receivable you want to add the uh, account is by bank and also uh, cash on hand means if you want to receive money on a bank so you the money is going to inside uh, and by bank account and go and if you want to receive the payments on uh, by hand so it's going to and cash on hand account okay but it's totally show inside uh, a account receivable accounts means your cash is this so here you can add the sub controls of your account controls so these are and the, here you can add your financial errors means those those are several dollars those are to do 2000 and uh, 2019 to 2020 so here you can register your financial years and also you can okay and here which one is active currently so this one is active currently okay i'm going to close this okay so this is the setting and now this is these are the reports which is print invoice low stock reports expiry products stock catalogs so these are the reports supplier wise purchase reports okay A customer wise sale reports and daily sale reports purchase sale reports daily monthly weekly custom all the reports are available here and this is the transactions means monthly transaction actually i'm going okay i'm going to inside and those are tar because uh, all the data is available inside in 2018 and i'm click on the find so here you can see these are the double entry systems okay this is the double entry system and now here you can see your the journal 
account payable account receivables uh, this is the purchase this is the payment here you see payment paid to junaid payment paid to junaid payment paid to hamza and co payment paid to hamza and co invoice paid is ali invoice paid by ali uh, sell on ali sell on wakas sell this this so here you this is the general transaction is actually means no man salary if you want to send the salary to your to your employee so here you can perform your general transactions so this is the general transactions this is the invoice here you can pay means payment it's the purchase payment a inv this is the sale invoice piv this purchase invoice gen general transactions okay so these are the journal and this the double entry history means is the journal of uh, and transaction history so uh, so now here if you want to perform your general transaction here so now uh, means if you want to uh, transfer payment from uh, cash on hand to bank so then select uh, if you want to send the payment to bank so then select the um, by bank so now select here for by bank account this is the by, by bank where is the by bank okay bank transfer and then select this is the cash on hand and then enter the amount and enter the reason and then process so your payments is transferred from cash on hand to bank okay the another one is try balance so here you can see your try balance this is i'm this is the trial balance this is the 2019 to 2020 this is the trial balance okay which is equal see here the another one is accounts ledger so here you can see your ledger means this is the cash on hand and this is the amount inside and cash on hand this is the account receivable their amount is inside and this this is the total balance so all of this is the account ledger if you want to check those are atara those are runnies those are bees then you can check here your account ledgers of this your selected financial years now this is the income statements this is income here this is some uh, transaction we have not received the money from the customer that's why here show is the net income is minus 6042 and this is the balance sheets here you can see your this this is the balance your business is balanced now see here if you receive money from the customers then it's automatically going to plus now so these are this is the overview of uh, accounting uh, management systems and these are the general options for means uh, is here okay and these reports for normally use means daily purchase uh daily sale daily purchase report customer sale report customer sale uh, purchase report and so on and here you can print directly uh receipt by receipt uh, number and also here you invoice directly say uh, print by using invoice number if you want to print purchase or sale invoice no, just enter your invoice number and click on the uh, print invoice general invoice whatever which one invoice you want to print enter the number of your invoice and print on the uh, invoice number you will get your invoice and print receipt and also here the print receipt means it's payment wise so if you want to receive uh, print the uh, purchase invoice or uh, sell invoice sell payment receipt or purchase payment receipts uh, so now enter here the receipt number or if you want to print the salary receipt so also enter the receipt number and now click on the print receipt uh, options you will get your receipts so that is the general overview or small overview of the accounting uh, management and please subscribe my youtube channels share my videos comments and like see you in next video